Hello, and welcome to the CQD training regarding location enhanced reporting for a deep dive into a few scenarios. My name is Aaron Steele. I am a senior program manager in the Skype for Business product group focused on customer lifecycle services. This training is part of the Skype operations framework. It is a world-class customer success framework that enables your business outcomes through cloud communications. This is the April 2017 version of the training. For more information, please visit the Academy. Updates will be posted on the blog. A disclaimer about this training. We innovate in the service on a constant basis, and it is possible new content will be added or this training might be slightly different than the service by the time you view it. For major updates, we will release new training. Please contribute to the operations framework by giving feedback and joining our community. In this course, we will give a demonstration for how you can investigate issues using the new location enhanced reports. During this video, we want to enable you to be able to leverage the location enhanced reports to expose user experience issues that the service logs understand the process to dig into root causes for an issue surfaced by the location enhanced reports and know how you can use new reports in both a proactive and reactive manner. The terms shown here are ones you should know going into this training. If you don't recall or know them in detail, please review the other CQD training courses available on the Operations Framework Academy. Jumping into the demo next, we will cover location enhanced reports in two ways, a proactive way where you can use the report to find an issue, and one where you are reporting an issue out of band in a location and use these reports to isolate the possible root causes of it. Let's jump into cqd.link.com and dig in. The main summary reports page is where we will start. On this page, note the tabs at the top. We start on the overall call quality tab and then flip to server to client to start digging in to see what we can find. Server to client streams is our tab now. We will scroll down and see both wired and Wi-Fi inside building charts and tabs. The buildings will be sorted first by volume of poor quality calls. What comes to the fore in these views is two things. First, that CP-IDC has a worse performing wireless network than Wired, and that Quincy has a marked, seen a marked increase in usage over the past seven months and is having roughly 4% poor calls on their Wired network. This might be a thing the admin team was already aware of, but if not, here's where location enhanced reports can help dig into it. As I scroll through the Wi-Fi building's pivot, I see one that I want to then investigate. The users haven't reported an issue in San Jose, Costa Rica, but my telemetry in the service tells me they've had something happen that has caused their poor call rate to spike this month. Jumping over to the location enhanced reports, I quickly type and filter down to see San Jose as I did in the building name in the summary reports. Looking at the building in the overview page of the location enhanced reports helps me to see that usage has remained about constant over the past three months. But this month, the network performance on wireless for users has seen a dramatic increase in network PCR, where users' wired performance has seen no similar change. I now flip to the building's Wi-Fi tab and filter again on the San Jose's office. From here, I would dig into the possible root causes for the increase in network PCR. However, I will now jump into our second demonstration. Note that from here on out, the same method would be used for both a proactive or a reactive investigation using the location enhanced reporting. Jumping to demo two, I will continue to use San Jose but think of it as though I've had an issue escalated to me from the help desk rather than that I've discovered it for myself. The help desk has told me, the Skype for Business admin, that users in San Jose are complaining about the poor quality of their calls. 
I haven't been told if it's happening when they are on wired or wireless connections or if it's in conference calls or point to point, just that users aren't having a good day on their calls. I see that yes, the network poor call rate has spiked in this office. Just here in March, though the volumes haven't increased and it is concentrated on wireless. I wonder why. Flipping over to the Wi-Fi tab, focusing on this building, I see that the rate has spiked, but I still don't quite know why. It's about the same for conferences as for the overall user. When I mouse over the Wi-Fi band, I see that across the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band, there's a marked difference for users on 2.4 gigahertz. I do not see a huge correlation of, day, of time of day aside from that spike at 7 p.m., but the volume of calls then is low. Digging into the 2.4 gigahertz band as the next place, I scroll back up and add a filter for second Wi-Fi band. This will filter the entire page to the Wi-Fi band I then select. Because I noticed the spike was on my 2.4 gigahertz band, I will filter on that and start looking around. I still don't see any quick pointers here except an increase in the volume of four calls and calls overall on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Here I don't see any correlations to time of day, time of week, or hour of the day that make me jump straight up to a bandwidth problem. Going down, I start with the channels the systems are talking on for Wi-Fi. And while the volume is higher on channel 11, and I do see that I have some drivers in the environment that seem to be having a higher rate of problem than others. This is interesting, and I will come back to this once I complete my initial assessment. Moving further down to make sure I'm not missing something, I see a mix of client versions in use, but no straight correlation from version to version making me think there's a bug in the software. Moving down, I see that my users are helping themselves out by using Skype for Business certified devices. Moving back up to desktop client Wi-Fi network adapters, since I didn't see anything else that drew me in, I see that most of the driver versions have been using for more than a month, and some have calls going back as far as six or seven months ago. This leads me to think that maybe there was something else going on with my wireless infrastructure. Back at the top, let's see if maybe new wireless access points got put in and now my users are having poor signal strength. I'll add second Wi-Fi signal strength as a filter, and then I can filter for 90 to 100% levels versus other signal strength levels. When I look, I see if my users have a great signal strength their experience seems markedly different, but still got worse in March versus February. However, if I move down just a little, I see that their experience gets exponentially worse. Moving down one more level, while I see their experience also going downhill, the volumes for these users aren't as high. So I think I've got a good coverage in the building, but as users coverage gets even slightly less than optimal, their experience degrades severely. With that 80 to 90 percent filter selected, I move down to Wi-Fi driver versions and see that I do have a problem, at least between a couple of versions of drivers and something else is the pattern. I'm now going to go and engage my local IT team in that office and start to figure out what changed in March. I think I recall them saying they were doing some wireless access point code upgrades. Maybe those aren't working well or maybe we missed a configuration during the upgrade. In this video, with the demonstrations, you should now be able to leverage location-enhanced reports to both diagnose issues proactively and react to issues brought to the Skype for Business admin from outside sources, and to help find root causes and remediate those user issues. The resources available to you as part of the operations framework are here. The larger training series is where this video will be linked. If you need more info about the operations framework, see the site and please review the blog for updates and all our training is contained within the Academy. Thank you for listening and desiring to learn more about CQD.